In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add more presets on Windows to any of your VSTs. Uh, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna find a sample for us to drag into our mapping editor. I have the sample, there it is. Okay, we imported it. Now I'm gonna stretch out the zones so that it plays across and we're gonna go ahead and name this instrument. We'll give it a preset. Uh, so we'll name it preset uh, Japan string Japanese string that's perfect uh, we'll go up to the top where it says file and then we'll go ahead and scroll down to our dot instruments folder there's our flames VST dot instruments folder and it's important that our presets go into here click the save button there it is voila we'll go ahead onto our desktop and check that dot instruments folder we'll drag that there and now you see our preset Japanese string is in that folder we'll go ahead and remove that sample out of our rompler mapping editor and let's go ahead and find a different sample that we want to bring in and we'll create a whole nother preset we'll drag in that sample just like that we'll stretch it out across the multiple zones um, and let's go ahead and let's give this preset a name go we'll go up to file we'll choose save rompler instrument just like we did last time uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and find our dot instruments folder the preset name is gonna be exactly the same there we go we'll go to our desktop scroll down to our flames VST dot instruments folder just like that we'll click save And then we'll go to program files, VST3, and we're gonna drag in the DLL and our dot instruments folder. It's really important that both the DLL and dot instruments folders are in that VST3 folder, or your plugin will not show up. So once those are in the folder, we can go ahead and select our DAW, and my DAW of choice is FL Studio 20. What you see here, I'm scanning for plugins, and it found it. There's our Flames VST. Once the scan finishes, we'll be able to drag it onto a track and actually have it pulling up. So there it is now. We're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into our step sequencer inside of FL Studio. And you can drag it into any of your DAWs. Voila, there it is. We can click on our instrument browser and now all of our presets are showing. <laughs> 